Hands down, eyes on the board. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Okay, we're continuing on with indices. And we are talking about negative indices today. So the first and the most important thing is we never, ever leave a negative index in our answer. It's a sin. Is that clear? Yes. What's a sin? Leaving what in the answer? Negative. Okay, so we can't have a negative index. One person speaks at a time. We cannot have a negative power in our final answer. And we absolutely cannot talk when I'm talking. That's a sin as well. Okay? Alright, so that means we need to know how to convert negative indices into positive ones because we've got lots of negative indices on the board. Is that right? Yes. Okay. So the thing, uh, it's a phrase that I've heard from someone in the past. I didn't make it up, but I really like it. Cross the line and swap the sign. Has anyone heard of that before? No. Uh, okay, now you have. So cross the line, swap the sign. What that means is, if you want to swap the sign of the index, so if you want to make the index positive, aren't you changing the sign? You're making a negative thing into a positive. You cross the line, that means if it's on the top of the fraction, you move it to the bottom. If it's at the bottom, you move it to the top. Just cross the vincidum, the middle line of the fraction. <laughs> Easy to remember? Let's repeat it three times. Cross the line. Cross the line. Cross the line. Cross the line. Repeat it now without me. Cross the line. Cross the line. Cross the line. Cross the line. Thank you. Now, A, does A have a negative index here? Pens yes. down, please. Yes, so is A in the numerator or denominator? Numerator? Now, so can I get A into the denominator? So have I crossed the line? So the power will swap the sign. Does that make sense? So if you want to change the sign of the power, just swap the position. If it's at the top, move it to the bottom. If it's at the bottom, move it to the top. Once you swap the position, once you cross the line, you swap the sign. So now, does 2 have a negative index? Yes. So is it in the numerator, 2 to the power of negative 3 over 1? Yes. So you need to cross the line, 2 comes down. Make sense? Yes. Perfect. Now, the 7 is at the bottom. You want to make its power positive, so it'll go to the top. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. 5 will go to the bottom. Does that make sense? So it doesn't matter where you are, whether you're at the top or at the bottom, you just cross that line and the power will swap the sign. Is this easy? Yes. Nothing else changes. All index laws that we learned our last lesson still work. It just in the final answer, you must cross the border and become a positive person. Okay? Alright. So write each term with positive indices. So even if the test or the exam or the book does not mention it, you now need to know that it's a sin to leave any answers with negative indices and I'll be really angry and not give you marks. So it, it don't argue, oh, but it didn't say in the question. I've told you now. So never ever leave negative indices. Happy with that? Okay, now, so do H and M both have negative indices? Yes. So do they both need to swap? Yes, so H will go down, M will go up. And what will happen to the powers? Will the powers swap? No, the powers will just change. To positive. Sign, yeah, positive. So M becomes, M to the power of positive 7 comes up. H comes down, becomes positive 4. How easy is that? Very easy. Yeah. It'll be easy if our eyes are on the board. Perfect. Now, does H need to be crossed? No. Does H need to be crossed? Yes. yes. Does H have a negative index? No. Is H sinning? No. no. G? Yes. So G needs to come up. Yes. Any, any, everything else remains same. You do need to stop talking now. Thank you. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you don't touch any other terms, but only the terms that have a negative index need to cross and swap. Make sense? Yes. I can't make it any easier than that. Yeah. Now, again, 
So 3 and 6 can be simplified. We get 2. Everything else as it is. Now, which two terms are sitting? B and C. We swap there, because then we cross their positions and swap the signs. That's all. So C will come up, become positive 4, and <coughs> down. Simple as that? Perfect. Now, M needs to go? Yes. N? No. N stays where it is. 7 needs to cross. K needs to cross. So N stays here. 7 becomes 7 to the power of positive 1. K becomes K to the power of 2. And M comes down. And now we don't write 7 to the power of 1. Looks ugly. Much prettier. Yes. Happy with that? Yes. How easy is it? It's very easy. Alright. Now, simplifying. So now we have to use the index laws that we learned yesterday and hopefully remember. And then in the final answer, or somewhere in between, get rid of the negative powers. Now, bases are the same and they're being multiplied. What happens to the powers? Added. So can I say negative 5 plus 3? Which is 4 to the power of? Negative 2. No, but now it's a sin. So I need to cross the line. And because it's an easy one, you can write it 1 over 16. Okay, I'll accept both answers. Next one. Bases are the same. I can write it as a fraction. They're being divided. What happens to powers? When the bases are the same and they're being divided, powers get? Subtracted. This is a tricky one. So you're subtracting the top power minus the bottom power. So minus a negative number. What happens if minus minus becomes a? Positive. 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 What's negative 7 plus 4? Negative. Negative? Negative. Negative 7 plus 4 is negative 3. Now, sitting? Yeah. yeah. Cross the? Line. Swap the? Sign. That's it. Yeah. Next one. Bases are the same? Being multiplied. Add the powers? Shh. Enough. 4 plus negative 2? What's 4 plus negative 2? 2. And then? They're being divided, so take away. 2 take away negative 6. What's a minus minus? Plus. plus. So 2 plus 6 is? So you take it easy. 2 plus 6 is? 8. It would be better if you look at the board rather than outside. Okay, Great. Now, what happens to these two powers? Do I add them, subtract them, multiply them? What do I do? Negative 5 times 4? Negative 20. Negative 6 times 4? Negative 24. What do I do? They're both negative in the six. Cross the line. Swap the line. Swap the line. Swap the line. Make sense? Yeah. Any questions? No. So what do we say? Cross the line. 